Hey, what's going on guys? This is CJ. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are playing some Doom Eternal and I'm going against the Icemen. Not often do I ever play against two Arc Vials and these guys have the camo for ice um, for some type of Christmas holiday, I'm guessing. Maybe it wasn't even for that. Either way, I'm calling them Icemen and it was a challenging match because their walls, the fire, the flame wall that they can put up is the cooldown is so short, honestly. I mean, it seems like I was just fighting walls half the time. And if, the, like this, if he didn't peek out like that, I probably wouldn't have been able to hit him. Uh, with the wall, if they stand in between the wall or like inside the wall, basically, then I can't hit him on either side because the hitbox for the wall is like bigger than the the enemy hitbox, I guess. And with teleportation, like they, they teleport and like, or jump, or whatever you want to say, pretty far and I could not catch up to him so this was a long range battle and I, I was trying to get in there with the super shotgun and I just couldn't and I was um, trying to switch around my weapons but I honestly was actually switching my weapons too fast and I wasn't shooting my gun you'll see that like later in the in the video that I was uh, just missing and rusty and overall but I could not I would like switch my weapon try to shoot but then switch and it wouldn't shoot and then it would cancel that that animation for the other gun so i, I was kind of like screwing myself over and by the way i'm i'm doing a commentary over this because for whatever reason my microphone wasn't recording when i was like all intense just imagine me <laughs> playing or imagine yourself playing this game and you're like oh yes i got him and then just just imagine it you'll you'll know exactly how i was responding in real life if it was live commentary so this is like I said, really hard, and I was not expecting something so different from playing Doom. I mean, I usually get, I mean, one Arc Vial maybe, and then uh, a Marauder or something like that. But the game's been fun, and I've been seeing that you guys have been responding more to Doom than, like, let's say, Cyberpunk or whatnot. So I thought I would honestly play Doom, and literally I got in Doom, and this is the game that I got. And we got the gold shotgun, so if you guys didn't watch that previous video, <laughs> I got it here. It's, we can use it, and it's sick. I honestly didn't use it that much uh, from the first beginning half, and then I realized I think this is a good play to uh, go through the teleporter on their side, and then on my way out of my spawn, I can shoot and, like, lop grenades over the top of my spawn into that tower, because they were kind of like, this area right here is their spot, and they just kind of kept sitting there, and it was like... That was my way of hopefully getting more damage out as the super so shotgun would be absolutely massive if i could get up close but i just could not get close enough as it would teleport or jump away and then when one of them died they they would just kind of like run around and i didn't have ammo or i couldn't chase them enough and i kept my gun just for you guys i kept my gun on the right side because i i think it's a little bit more appealing for you guys let me know down below if you don't care if it's in the center i am definitely a center person i think i was a little screwed up by the fact that the gun was on my right side and i just was like disoriented i guess i don't know it was kind of weird because i played the whole game like my thousand hours in the game is literally in the center right so i i can't i i imagine that the gun on the right should be my center so i'm like looking sideways and like looking all weird so, you know, just kind of block that out of your, your mind, anywho. I'm, I'm bad, and it's just, it's just how it is. I'll take it for now. I'll get better. I promise. So, I wanted to show you guys the weapons, and I think it was really cool. With the American RPG, or rocket launcher, is actually really neat. So, I kind of wanted to show some stuff off. As when it's in the center, I feel like you just don't see the camos that much. And with perks, by the way, if uh, I want to go over the perks, uh, I did choose the typical perks for... Um, Master Carve, and then I got the uh, Dash, and then on the third one, I'm kind of spoiling it. it. It was a long match, all right? But on the third one, I chose, I was going to choose the armor because I thought I would need more health, but they didn't do too much damage. Honestly, if they were a little bit more aggressive, then I think they could have killed me a few times, maybe even got it to like two or two rounds or so in. Um, maybe even got close to actually winning the game, but I think they were more passive and that's probably You know their side of how they were playing 
and me right there. Missing three shots right there. That's very crucial uh, before they put up their walls. And uh, but instead of the armor, I chose I chose the um, the perk. I don't even know what it's called because I don't choose it often. But after you chainsaw anybody or any enemy, you get I think it's double damage, or maybe it's just a little bit more damage, 25% or something like that, uh, for three seconds. So. Right, if you if you chainsaw someone, you would have three seconds to hit somebody, anyone. Honestly, it doesn't. I don't think. I think it applies to the players and the AI, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I try to hit the the players because with um, the ballista, I can I can shoot and it does 750 damage to them, and that is that's the type of stuff that we need for the damage wise. Sometimes I hit 500. Sometimes I hit 375. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I just hit somewhere else. But um, yeah, won that round. Absolutely insane. So I kind of have an idea now of how they're playing. And I was trying to lock onto them. And honestly, I kind of should have. I should have just switched to the detonation mod on the RPG or the rocket launcher because I could shoot upwards. And you could see me like I, I shoot it like randomly, like just like that. And I could at least detonate it. And that would have at least hit them just a little bit. Just a hundred damage would have been nice. And from from my side, I mean, 100 damage is quite a bit, and I could at least hopefully work with that a little bit more, and maybe even kill him right there, miss a couple shots. Fire, firewall came up there, and I could not hit that guy even on the right side of the firewall. So like, he was outside the wall to me, and then on the right side of it, so like it shouldn't shouldn't block my shot, but it does, and I kind of don't like that about the hitboxes in this game, is. Uh, if you look, watch closely, I was shooting my ballista, and there's a one of the enemies, like one of the grunts, were just kind of close by, and it was clearly not on him, anywhere near him. Um, well, I guess it was close, but not that close. And it hit him instead of going through to the player, or one of the arc files. Um, I think it was like probably next round or so, so kind of look out for it. I might, might missed it. Who knows? I'll try to point it out for you guys. But I think the hitboxes are a little bit, a little bit too wide, and I think it should be a little bit more precise. And it would be, I don't know, it would be a little bit more competitive. I hit, I feel like because then if I'm trying to ignore all the AI, then it would be in my favor. But I guess when I shoot, if it hits the AI, then that sucks, and you know I miss the shot. I guess. So. Uh, running around, if um, if you see me chainsawing a lot, then that's probably why. I, I got that perk, so I've been trying to chainsaw, and then I just was trying to get as much damage out as possible in the small time frame. A little bit later, I try to get one low, and then get the other one low, and then hopefully kill them both at the same time, because if they're not low, um, then I couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to kill both of them at the same time, um, or fast enough before the other one spawn, just like now. I just can't, I can't put out that much damage, and especially how fast these guys move. Marauders, like, move pretty quick, but these guys, they move really fast because they can teleport. And then they have a wall up, they can put a wall up and then, like, bounce out. Uh, I have had multiple arc files actually really good at, like, pinning me against a corner and then putting their wall up. So once they put the wall up, then I can't get out unless I jump high, but you... Are only so limited to jumping up so high in this game unless you use the ballista to like kind of boost you up and like right here i got them both really low firewalls came up i can barely see the walls though when you're up close like that so i, I didn't know that there was a wall and i was just shooting blatantly like oh what the heck's going on i couldn't hit this guy and then realized there was walls up because i was burning like i think i don't know if they nerfed the wall or not but i feel like it used to kill me like really fast like if i stood inside the wall or next to the wall it would burn me and i don't know if it really does that anymore but uh i, I was like playing here and and just just now i'm like hey i should use my 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 shield so maybe that could uh defend myself just a little bit more i mean uh i didn't use it that i don't even use that gun really that much the machine gun is not my 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 forte i guess i mean even in campaign or anything, I don't think I use it that much, but it does help. I mean, you have a shield, you could use it. Some people say it's OP, and I've, I've heard that before, and that was a nice shot right there. But I just don't, I don't think it's that good, but I think 
it's nice, and I kept trying to climb on that wall, and I couldn't make the stupid jump. I, I think I've tried that, like, 10 or 13 times. Like, it's insane. And one, right, right there, he teleports, put the shields up, boom. He, he's got the, he kills the five seconds, guys respawns. And it is a, it's a pretty nasty combination, honestly. I cannot believe it. But it was, it was a good challenge, I think, and it was a really fun one. And now I'm, I think I'm just trying to get into them. I just know they sit up there, so... I, I know I'm gonna chainsaw some people here, and I think I'm gonna miss, honestly, but... Using the gold skin and gold shotguns, I'm so excited. I hope they add more, like, really soon. But I feel like they're only going to do that for the master levels and not for, like, normal events. Which is okay, I mean, it's pretty hard to get gold camo. I don't think they want it to be too easy, so... But this is... This has been a heck of a match. And trying to chainsaw just to get that three second damage. Boom, 750 damage right there. Boom, and then he's dead. And then I just need to catch up to this other guy, which the other guy is almost max health. So, if not max. And I won't be able to kill him that quick unless he kind of like screws up on something. So it was not, not an easy match. I should have taken it a little bit slower and like degraded one like half health and then maybe get the other one half health. And I was surprised that they didn't use uh, instant revive. I'm not really sure why they didn't do that, but I think they have heals on. Maybe they do have instant revive. Maybe they didn't know how to use it. Um, I honestly can't see the, the photo that well, but um, I don't think any of them responded that quickly. But I, I don't honestly know all the demons like abilities because I don't play them at all. This was a good setup, by the way, but the two two walls like that was like pretty nasty because you couldn't shoot anything over it and you couldn't shoot through it. I mean, it was a, it was a pretty good, pretty good, uh, plan tactic there. I was trying to get good at my, my, uh, super shotgun to like swing around and I almost die here and they're, they're like chasing me actually. And I think they, the reason why they screwed up here, I got down to six health. I go up and I shoot him. I only get a little bit more health, but the weakest, uh, player actually was chasing me. So I think if the other player was chasing me as well, or just a little bit closer, I think he could have killed me because I was so low on health. Like, he, he should have been able to kill me, but I think the lower health guy got to me first, and then he just was, like, hoping for the best. And coming in the clutch situations, I, I get it. I try, to, I try to do plays like that. I get it. Completely understand. And I think... I, I know he could have killed me. I, I honestly do. So he could have been... A really close game and I think the super shotgun needs like the chainsaw not the chainsaw the the chain to actually be uh, have a cooldown that's like a little bit quicker because I want to swing around and like move around quickly and right here I, I got him down really low and I was trying trying to get over there and I, I got I got uh, stuck and moved over and boom he's gone once again teleports out easy easy gone See, I, I don't know how I missed those either. Like, that was nuts to me. But they can evade so quickly. Uh, like I said, like, uh, uh, Arc Vile's pretty quick as a player. Um, but the Marauders, like, the Marauders are pretty quick, but the Arc Vile's are, like, super fast. And I, I just, maybe I wasn't using, utilizing my, my territory fast enough or enough to, like, actually be able to move around quickly but this was this was a game he actually got stuck here and he luckily had to teleport so he could he could get out of there but I could have had him in that corner as well I need some I need some like professional uh, commentator that's what I need commentate over my, my videos be pretty sick <laughs> look at this got another one down and getting stuck on the enemies Trying to get that three seconds of extra damage, but I couldn't find him. And then, of course, he puts up a wall. And right here, he plays the whole in-between-the-wall thing. And once again, get him down really low, but I couldn't find him. And he healed up a little bit. I think... Do they heal, actually? Do they heal a little bit when the their teammates spawn? I'm not honestly sure. Or is that just his ability that he was using for the third round or fourth round? Now they're healing off, popping it off. Getting close. Once again, the walls are so good. 
Looking for that chainsaw once again. It's so good, guys. Honestly, it really is. If you're, like, in a pickle, then definitely choose that and just chainsaw a bunch of guys. I got my super shotgun off with 775 damage there, which was super nice. I knew this guy would go back and teleport forward, so I was trying to catch him on, on off guard and got him right there. <laughs> that was an absolutely insane match. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.